Hi y'all! Welcome back to our Holistic Healing Channel. If you're new to the channel, hope that you'll enjoy the time and the video today and want to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and come back and spend time with us. So today we're going to be opening the chakra box and can you tell which chakra it is? Crown chakra! Crown chakra! Yay! So we're almost finished with the series and then I'll be doing those other videos. So the chakra box is, it's not really a monthly subscription box in that I believe there's 10 boxes. It starts with the root, uh, with the um, earth star chakra and then goes through root and through all of, all the way up through the crown. And then I believe she does the two above as well. So we're, I will see how many more boxes come. And when I finish getting the whole run, I do want to do some videos just on each of the chakras using the items she has in there as well as other things that I have on hand to give you an idea of how to work with each of those chakras. But it says there's nine of them, subscription boxes. Um, there's nine to 12 vegan and cruelty-free items with a 77 to $111 retail value. And the box runs $39 per month. I'll put the link for the subscription box in the video description, along with the code that I have for you for 15% off, which is Karma of Omanit. So if you do subscribe or order anything from her store, remember to use that Karma of Omanit to get 15% off. So, I don't review last month's box since each box is kind of independent and it's not an ongoing subscription box. So let's get right into this box and see what we got. Now everyone knows that I love this box and I have had a couple of people comment that they don't really think it's worth it, but I know what goes into all of this so I really do think it's worth it for me and I do respect everyone's comments so I appreciate people who write their honest opinions and give me that feedback so that I know, so that I can help all of you um, if I start to see patterns or things, you know. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's get to the box. So, the crown chakra. First, we have a little card, and it shows pictures of everything we get. And then it has the descriptions of the items, which I'll read. If you're new to the channel, I do include timestamps. So, if you just want to see the item and don't want to listen to me read about it, you can just poof. Go down to the video description and click on the time link or you can scroll along with your finger if you're on your phone or iPad and you'll see the little chapters pop up and you can stop there. Then in each box we always get a sticker which I really like so I can put it in my journal as I'm learning more and more things. And then we have some different little cards that we'll talk about as we get to the items in the box. And then she also has always a meditation and breathing um, work with a yoga pose. Um, then there's also on each box, there's a digital download that includes all kinds of amazing things. Um, the first one had things like, you know, um, chanting and yoga and just a plethora of other tools that you have at your access to be able to uh, utilize to work with each of the chakras. And so that's a big piece of this box is that digital download. Then um, this is the card for the oil that I'll read when we get to the oil. And on top here, looks like we have a little altar cloth. Oh, 20% off online purchase. So in case you love it and you want to get one. There's a 20% off. Silly Yogi. Really cute. It's got the ohm inside. Little suns. Oh look, that's beautiful. Almost more like a scarf. I mean, you could use it, of course, as an altar cloth. Oh, I love it. It's got Buddha. Oh, that is so cool. I don't know whether I'll use that. I mean, I just, and then look, the ohms on the end, look, the little suns. So pretty. So I guess it's like a little scarf. Well, I like that. 
That is gorgeous. Okay, so let's see. Number 10. Um, lar uh, no, number 10. Ohm scarf. Use this beautiful handmade ohm scarf to keep you warm or as an altar cloth. I love that. I'm going to just keep that out in my scarves. It even matches the little jacket that I have on right now. Which is from my Ellie box. I got another outfit this time. And I love their little... <laughs> I'm not using them that way, but anyway, very cool. Oh, pretty. Oh, that's pretty. Usually there's a piece of jewelry in it. And this month, that is gorgeous. So it's a little wrist mava. And then it has amethyst on it. So it has the wood beads and then the amethyst and an ohm with a little tassel. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I'm gonna be wearing that. That is so neat. I really like it. That's so cute. Let's see what it says. Amethyst foam bracelet. Wear this beauty to carry the qualities of amethyst wherever you go. Oh, I love it. Then we have a little votive candle. Oh, it smells heavenly. So they always just look like a little cheap votive candle, but she's got all the essential oils in them and amazingness. Mm. Oh, that smells so good. Mm, what is that? What is in that? Um, Crown Chakra Candle. Burn this natural wax candle by Aloe Bay during the summer solstice for additional medi meditation. Oh, for, wait. Let me read that again. Burn this all natural wax candle by Aloha Bay during the summer solstice for the additional meditation in your email. Okay. So she's talking about the virtual links. If you click on it, you can use this with the meditation that comes in the additional downloads. That's yummy. Then we have our stones. And there's usually several stones to work with. Um, that is one of the comments and criticisms that I got is that the stones are usually just little polished stones and so admitted, you know, you can pick these up for a couple of dollars, up to four dollars at the very most. And so you know, that's where they felt that there wasn't tons of value in it. But I find the value mostly in the oils and the stuff that I, I know I make them. So I know how much time goes into making those things. So um, I'm just going to show them to you. Not sure if I'm going to be able to figure out what they are. But let's see if I can. Okay, so I kind of lined them up and put them what I thought they were. And we'll see how I do. You let me know if you think I got them mixed up. First we have a really pretty amethyst point. Is that pretty? And amethyst point, stone of meditation, enhances meditation and fosters a greater awareness of source God. Amethyst raises spiritual frequencies, clears the aura, and is balancing in all aspects. Then we have the Rudal Quartz. Rudal Quartz. And Rudal Quartz. This healing gemstone carries an ethereal and angelic vibration. May strengthen the energy flow throughout the body. Rudal cleanses and balances chakras. This beauty may amplify other gemstones and crystals touching it. Then we have the quartz with lodolite. And it says use for meditations in which you wish to access your past lives. This high vibration specimen opens channels of communication to the spirit world. The combination of um, lodolite and quartz is cleansing to one's auras and space. It is dream enhancing and realigns imbalanced chakras. 
Then we have the white halite. And white halite calms and soothes emotions and assists in restful slumber while bringing conscious awareness to one's dreams. Known as an attunement stone, connecting one to a higher spiritual consciousness, meditating with halite may assist in connecting to higher realms and universal divine truth. Halite opens the third eye at crown chakras. The white striped calcite. Got some really cool, like little. I'm not sure if I can get them very good in the little caramely stripes there. Calcite increases and amplifies energy. It also has the ability to raise consciousness, linking to higher spiritual states and awakening psychic abilities. It is cleansing to the auric field and chakras and is known as the stone of new beginnings. And last but not least, the larva kite, and I've never heard of this stone before. Larva kite, have you ever heard of a larva kite? Huh. Kind of pretty. You can't really tell in the film, but it's got like almost some pinkish hues and really kind of speckled pretty. I'm not sure you're seeing it very good though. Well, you can kind of see it. And it says, um, Larva Kite is a protective and grounding stone. It is cleansing to the subtle bodies and facilitates a strong connection with the energies of Earth, protecting to connect with the spirits of nature, helping to connect with the spirits of nature. Larva Kite stimulates inner visions and enhances our psychic abilities. Okay, a couple more things in here. All right, first we have our crown chakra oil, and this is one of the things I love about her boxes. And the reason I love it is because when you figure out what's gone into it, you can see the gemstones down there in the bottom. She uses so much in these, and purple's my favorite color. Mm -hmm, that's beautiful. Really different. Like I don't know what I'm smelling. But I like it. It does have some um, citrusy kind of notes to it. Let's see here. So um, says high vibe crown chakra balancing aroma oil follow instructions on the ingredient card so this is the little ingredient card that I showed you before then it has a little intention setting and stuff on the back it says uh, um, jojoba and argon oil and then the essential oils are frankincense lavender sweet orange ponderosa pine um, helichrysum, I always say that wrong, so hopefully I said it right. Uh, LMI, cedarwood, and then the organic flower essences are lotus, queen anne's lace, rosemary, red pimpernel, and then the crystal and gem essences are gold, um, sugar light. And then the crystals and gemstones are amethyst, rose quartz, and moonstone. I am one with the universe and the highest vibration of love. And on the back it says, I honor the divine within me. I seek experiences that nourish my spirit. I am connected to the vision of uni for, to the wisdom of universe. I trust my intuition to guide me. I live in the present moment. I am grateful for all the blessings in my life. I am open to divine wisdom. I seek the highest truth and the most healing ways to live my life. I trust that my highest good and my greatest joy are unfolding now. I live in joy and gratitude for the goodness that fills my life. I love her oils. 
And last but not least, she always has a tea in here. Here's her crown chakra tea. I am not going to open it because I'm not going to open it until I use it. But her teas are always amazing as well. So that's the other thing, the teas and the oils. And her tea says... Crown Chakra Balancing Tea. Enjoy this organic tea as desired. And it says it has uh, organic lavender, go, uh, go to cola, um, tulsi, ginkgo, chamomile, and periwinkle. Hmm. I haven't had a lot of those in a tea, so it'll be interesting to see how those taste. Of course, taste isn't the major thing we know, but... It's always nice. I don't do very well when I have uh, teas that don't taste very good. So what a great box. I'm excited. I've got one or two more boxes coming from her. And then, like I said, then we'll be doing um, different videos on each of the chakras using some of the items from her box, as well as other things that I've collected to give you a thorough video on each of the chakras and different ways that you could use to practice them. Thank you for joining me. Please remember to hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not already subscribed to our awesome holistic healing family, please remember to subscribe. I just enjoy so much reading all of your comments and the fact that you guys even comment to each other as we learn and grow together. Remember to come back often to the channel where you can say, Karma's my friend. I am. I'm your friend. Remember you're cared about. Remember I think about you often and send you all kinds of loving light and healing energy. Bye, y'all.